Hi everyone on replay. You're with Karen and I am taking a walk here in the beaches here in Toronto. Welcome. Hey Marco, welcome. I'm just here in the beaches here in Toronto. And I was at a doctor's appointment. Hey soft RMC. It's a beautiful day here in Toronto. And uh, I live in Mississauga, west of Toronto, but this is east. I had to travel across the lower part of Toronto and, to get to my doctor's appointment, which is in the beaches. So here, let me just show you around. We got a lot of snowfall last night. Hey, everyone, for joining. Thank you. You're with Karen, and I usually scope in and around Toronto. Haven't scoped in a, in a number of days Queen Street, one of the major streets here in Toronto, is just up there at the lights. TPA Bay Dreamer, welcome. Everyone on replay, it's a beautiful day here in Toronto, even though look at all the snow that we got. This fell all yesterday and last night. I can't, the sun's in my eyes, I can't really see. Diane. Diane, I can't read the name. Dreamer, I think, right? Uh, green, welcome. Sorry, guys. Uh, the sun is very bright on my screen, so I can't really see all the comments, but I can. I, the names are really small. Just wanted to show you all the snow we got in Toronto just yesterday and overnight. I think that's 786. Welcome. No problem. Loads of snow. T dot. Welcome. So you're walking here, Glen Manor, um, and I'm here. I was here to um, get results from my blood work that was done a couple of weeks ago. So I found out I have a wee. The, my cholesterol level is a wee high. Sorry, I have to stop to see the names. Uh, sorry, D. Hi, UK. Welcome. Guys, you're with Karen, and I usually scope in and around Toronto. Today, I had to go to a doctor's appointment here in the beaches where I used to live. This is a beautiful place. Ashley, welcome. Don't freeze. <laughs> I'm not even sure what the temperature is. But um, we didn't have snow here about a day ago, but look at all that dropped yesterday. And thanks for the hearts. France, welcome. Jay, mini horsey that's a nice name so I was gonna just go home um, and as I was coming to my car so much snow oh you're very welcome sorry I guys the uh, names are hard for me to see Toronto is such a beautiful city hi I sorry Again, I'm apologizing profusely because it's hard really with all the sun on my screen to see the very light gray names. Yeah, so this happened all yesterday. Really late in the afternoon, we got a lot of snow and then into the night it snowed all night. So here I'm just, this is Lake Ontario here in the beaches. There's a walkway. Show your face. Sorry. This is me. Hi. Is that the water? Yeah. That is the water. But like I said, we didn't have snow here yesterday. A myth? Thanks for the compliment. So I'm going to walk across the street in a minute. Does it ever get warm enough to swim? Oh, for sure. In the summer. It's beautiful. So, yeah, we're in um, in Toronto, Canada. I'm just down in the beaches. Back in the day, many years ago, this used to be a very, uh, um, this used to be a place where Torontonians came to vacation. You guys recently had snow. Yeah, yesterday we had snow. Oh, sorry, I missed that comment. Are they sandy beaches? They are sandy beaches. <laughs> I'm not going to do a snow angel. My face again. 
Here, I'm just gonna find a spot. <laughs> Snow angel, haha, ha, yeah. Dirty beach. It's not a dirty beach. Okay, so. Okay, one sec. <laughs> Trying to turn around here. Ah! There we go. So right here, they have a boardwalk that goes, we should say kilometers, like, and sorry guys, I didn't anticipate scoping today. U-S-S-A, sorry, Gar, sorry. Hi from India, well, hello. But this goes, I would say kilometers down. Did you go to Malvis? Sorry, I'm not sure what that is. It's Lake Ontario, yes. So you can run, jog, walk, bike, rollerblade, do whatever you want down here. You've got your right and left lanes. So here, let me go over here. Okay, I thought it was the ocean. No, it's Toronto. And I'm just going to... So this is would be your beach. Lake Ontario. Pakistan, Northern Ireland says hello. Hello, hello. Guys, again, sorry if I can't see your comments. Did you have breakfast? Good breakfast. I have not had breakfast yet. My geography is bad on the east since I have always lived on the west. <laughs> I hear you. My geography is terrible. Now, I'm not sure what they did here. I live in Philadelphia as a child. Love this now. So here, Aurora Borealis. Huh, it's an interactive sculpture hovering above the lifeguard station like a spinning chandelier. So as the visitor approaches and touches the colorful lit tubes, they respond to body heat changing color. This is in response to the freeze thaw cycle of winter in both Toronto and North. Oh, okay, East. Don't eat yellow, so I, I will not eat the tell. Look at this dog having fun. He loves it. That's adorable. You're going to leave DC soon? I am solution. Sorry, I missed that, so Sophie. Hi, everyone. Welcome, everyone on replay. So let me just look at these things. I don't know whose dog. That's his owner right there. But obviously, this is a fantastic place for, for dogs, right? Michelle. This is a chandelier. This is just uh, an installation that was put up here. And I don't know. They said if you touch these, it changes color. But I don't know how long these have been. They're like tubes. Hi from Wales. Jellyfish. It looks like it, doesn't it? It's, it's very pretty. Like if I could back up. Sorry, I missed that comment. Uh, oh my God, I can't read. Andrews. So it's going around. English and French, Florida. Hell, hi guys, welcome. Everyone on replay, welcome, welcome. Here, I'll take you, I'll take you back this way for a minute. So again, this is all walkway in the summer. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll bring you down here in the summertime. If you're not following me, well and hello. If you're not following me, Motec19, welcome. Oh, another dog. This is like, they love this area. I live about a half hour west of here in Mississauga. So this is um, beautiful Toronto. It is beautiful. It looks a lot better in the winter. No, it's gorgeous in the summer as well. So this is um, a kinetic and interactive sculpture hovering above the lifeguard station. It spins, it's a chandelier. 
It's supposed to, when you approach and touch the tubes, they respond to body heat changing color. So I think this has been up for a little bit. No, it's not a nude beach, but that is a pretty, it is pretty. There's a light, um, the, uh, let me see if it doesn't freeze up. My phone froze up on me the other day. The little beach house right over here, which is very, um, if you look at the beaches here in Toronto, that, that beach house always appears. What's the stack? I'm not sure what that stack is. But we're down. There's a lot of industry here. There's a few stacks there, right? Like um, there, there, and there. But this is, as you go along the, the coastline there, there's a lot of industry. Yeah, the big one? I'm not sure. Like this one. I know uh, that one. I am not sure. I did not do my research for you guys today. Oh. We've got more dogs. But I saw the water, Lake Ontario. It was so beautiful. The bridge in between uh, Mississauga and Niagara. No, nope, that's, that's pretty far away. But I wanted to just show you guys how beautiful it is because it's a beautiful day. Can you show us Niagara? Oh my God. Uh, I can't because I'm not, um, I'm probably about an hour and a half away from Niagara Falls. Okay. Now if you guys want to see Niagara, I'm going to just keep it on this because I, um, I'm not going to walk along this boardwalk because there's not a whole lot to see I, until you get way far down. Loving the view. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, here, let me just get down because I'm like totally in snow here. If you go out far enough in the lake, it looks and feels like you're... It does, I know. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love dogs, but what a commitment to have a dog. I just wanted to walk down this way. Big doggy. This is a beautiful place. Um, I'm just whispering because I'm like right behind him. <laughs> I am. So guys, I just came down here to um, the beaches. If you have the dollars. Well, it's such a commitment. I do have a cat. My partner and I, we both, uh, my boyfriend and I got uh, a cat, black cat. We fostered the black cat for a year and then thought, oh, here these two are meeting up. How cute is that? Yeah, we fostered the cat for about a year and then um, decided that, hey, if someone wanted the cat, we definitely wouldn't be giving the cat up. So maybe we should own the cat. So, oh, a dog walker. So guys, I'm just gonna come up to this area. I was here for a doctor's appointment. I have a doc, my doctor's in the beaches. Can't wait until I move down there. Oh, hey Gail. Sorry, I can't see the names very well. Does any of the... the Yet yeah, the lake freezes. Endless adventures. <laughs> Guys, welcome if you're on the replay. If you're sitting at home and you're warm... Uh, on your warm couch. I'm just taking a walk along the boardwalk. Well, the boardwalk is where this person's walking right here. But this is kind of the path for bikers. We got lots of snow. Look. It's crazy. But this is um, a path for bikers and um, walkers, dog walkers, obviously. Call the army. <laughs> exactly. I was here when they did that. So, But I'm wondering here. I'm going to go back in here for you guys. So watch. I'm going to go back. 
back. Oh. To the boardwalk. So, one second. I don't have shoes on. Just finished cleaning myself. Uh, yeah, I've got boots. So guys, I am thinking, where is the boardwalk here? Okay, there's the sand, you see the sand. Beautiful dog. The boardwalk is under these lamp posts. So this little walk right here is boardwalk. So I'll take you here again in the summertime. It's a beautiful, huge boardwalk, goes on, goes on for miles and miles down here. I know I should say kilometers, but I like miles. Miles and miles sound a lot better than kilometers, kilometers. But this is a beautiful, beautiful area in the summertime. I'll take you down on the main street on, um, yes, miles. Welcome everyone who's just joining. I'm in the beaches just out, just in Toronto, probably about five minutes from downtown Toronto. There's the uh, the beach house that shows up on a lot of images. What is that? Do you see that thing in front of the beach house? It looks like an ice sculpture. What is that? I'm curious, so I'm gonna just uh, see what that is. Who's who's beach house? Well, it's just on the beach house. I, I'm sure it's used by the people who maintain the, the beach and lifeguards. I just want to see that frozen, the city, what's the temp? I'm not sure what the temp is. I didn't check. Guys, I'm uh, usually more prepared for you, but I saw this water and here, what I'll do is I'll do landscape for you. So I want to see what this ice I'm more prepared. Usually I have little bits of trivia for you. But I would be on the beach right now. So I'm going to go to the sand because I'm like walking through snow here. There we go. There we go. Sand. So now, <laughs> now it's difficult to walk in the sand. Oh, yeah, bathing suit. Okay. So let's take a look at this frozen. Oh, and look at that, guys. So we got the beach house. The little beach house on the uh, the beach, and you see what's on to the right, the CN Tower. Now that's nice. I'm gonna have to. Um... Gail, can you take a picture of that and send that to me with the um, CN Tower? Do you know how to take a picture? Or I'm gonna have to go back in and have a look. I'm not sure. I don't know how to take pictures when I'm scoping. You forgot. Oh, you forgot. You have to hit the little button um, in the middle of your, at the bottom of your phone, your iPhone, and the side button that turns the phone on and off. You can take a screenshot. I can take a screenshot? Okay, I'm going to try and take a screenshot. If I don't lose you. If I lose you, great talking to you. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll see how that turned out. I did take one. Okay, so guys, do you see the uh, what I'm talking about in front of the house? That frozen. I'm going to get up close and see what it is. It's probably nothing. 
it's probably just uh, been frozen and frozen and then it just builds on top of each other but that's kind of cool too how to shut out how to shut out the comments you have to hit the little guy on the lower right corner hide comments okay I'm gonna flip you guys for a minute What's the tower? Well, this is a little beach house. You kicked yourself out. <laughs> and I wanted to see what this structure is right there. Well, it's a lifeguard station. And then we have the CN Tower. Yeah, I am cold, so I'm gonna head back shortly. CN Tower in the distance there. I love the CN Tower. I like Toronto. Toronto is fun, but look at this ice sculpture. Well, it's not an ice sculpture, but it kind of is, but naturally made. Yeah, graffiti. They'll probably paint it and everything for the summertime. So let's have a look. You're back again. Are you kicking yourself out, Gail? Julia, welcome. Anyone new? If you haven't, if you don't follow me, you can tap the little guy on the lower right and follow. What's the sea and tower? Oh, missed what you said, yeah. So anyway, I wanted to see this. So this must have been a tree in there, or it is a tree in there. And then um, just with all the rain and the freezing, it just built that. Just a frozen tree, but it's pretty cool because there's no trees around. Look. Oh, there's a frozen one. That didn't really do anything, did it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to pan around here for you. So there is the lifeguard station. The house that appears on this beach in a lot of the photos. Oh, yeah, surprised, right? So um, the CN Tower, uh, I can't see it from... Oh, I can see it just in the distance over there. Well, it's a huge landmark here in Toronto, that's for sure, the CN Tower. It's CN Tower, like C, Charlie, Norman, Tower. Well, it's, um, you take an elevator, it takes you about a minute to take an elevator all the way to the top. Um, it's uh, one of the largest freestanding structures, well, it used to be one of the largest. You, you can have dinner right at the upper part of it, which I'll, I'll turn around, turns as you eat. So we have a ro rotating. Here, let me see if I can zoom in. You got lost in the CN Tower? You see that middle part? That rotates around, it's a restaurant. I d did I say it takes an hour? It takes about a minute to get to the top. Sorry if I said <laughs> that's pretty slow. But I'll have to um, go up there and, and show you guys. It's an observation deck and you can go and take a walk out. But also, too, people pay. I was like, an hour? <laughs> I'd be like, what? No, it takes like less than a minute to go up the elevator up to the top um, but people go right to the top and they actually pay about two three hundred dollars to lean off of it so they're strapped in and they actually lean off the top part like what yeah I don't know oh I can come back usually my phone yeah at the very top if you google the CN Tower Charlie Norman Tower CN Tower, um, you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. 
they get strapped in and they lean back off of that. And people have gotten married doing that. Yes, I have to agree with whoever said crazy. Yeah, for about two, three hundred bucks. Well, oh my gosh, can you imagine if someone was sick? I'm sure someone has been. What do you do? I mean, it falls right to the... What happens to that? They don't allow you to take any loose things. You have to have all everything. You can't have your phone with you or anything. I couldn't be scoping um, because, you know, God forbid, something were to happen and um, my phone fall. So guys... Queen Street, which is one of the most popular streets here in Toronto, runs just up here, along here. It's This is a beautiful, beautiful place to live, beautiful neighborhood. I actually lived here for about a year or so, a year or two in this area. So I used to run along the boardwalk every morning. How much are homes right there? very expensive I couldn't tell you what the real estate value I mean it fluctuates but I would say you couldn't really buy a house here for you might find something for just under a million but they're very expensive there's a lot of uh, apartments here I'm trying to change it back over do I look warm <laughs> it's really windy Very expensive. A lot of Victorian homes that have been uh, refurbished and renovated. Oop. Okay, now look at, okay. Now I'm not sure, a million, that's not too bad. Well, probably over a million, but I'm kind of going a million. I can't afford for sure to live here. Yeah, gutted and rebuilt. I'm sure some of them have to, um, if they're what classified as historical. I'm sure many are. But I'm looking at this. because This might just be a way to keep this guy's... Uh, I don't know what this is. This box. Like, I've never seen that before. I'm curious as to what that is made of. Maybe it's another installation like our uh, chandelier over here. Looks like wood, I know. Oh, well, this is ours. Here, here, I'll do something. Hey, Dana, welcome. Oh, I've got gloves on, so I'm trying to take my, trying to take my gloves off. So one second, guys. Hey, oh, that, hey, Dana, welcome. So this is the beaches here in Toronto, but we got a lot of snow. I wasn't going to scope, but I thought, ah, oh, I saw the water and I thought, yes. So here, let me do this. <laughs> when comes your next snap? Miss, oh, do you? Well, I was going to snap today because I have a number of things I have to do today. But there you go. Oh, and look, I, there's a paw right here. Draw it bigger. <laughs> well, there you, it's, it's bigger when I, when I zoom in. Or when I go in. There, I'm not very creative, guys. Not very creative. What have you gotten yourselves into? Hello from Turkey. Okay, so this, this structure here is interesting. So it's not wood, it's rope. 
it's my new house. I know, what the heck? Um, and they have it over a um, lifeguard stand. Maybe they'll have a uh, FBI. I thought they might have some identification as to what this is. Oh, look, it almost looks like a door. That's weird. An entrance or something. You want me to go in? Should I go in? It's probably nothing. Go in. Like a what? A WS? What's that? What says that sign? I love you, Dana. Uh, no lifeguard on duty. <laughs> it's This is happening. This is all tied up like that um, on a lifeguard stand. So I'll walk around. So I am not sure what this is supposed to be. Um, this is all it is. You can look out into the water. So I'm like, let's go to the beach. Yeah. Yes, Elizabeth. For the homeless, it's all tied up. It is all tied up. There you go. Got a duck. Okay, guys. Well, was that fun? Yeah. Okay. Now let's go out. I thought it would be a little bit more exciting maybe to change clothes. <laughs> so, guys, I have taken you for a little bit of a tour. Oh, look. Is this it and it's just fallen down? Let's see. I'm not going to pick it up because I don't like love on. Yes, floating ropes. Based on a strong duality of perceptions, the structure appears as an elementary floating cube made um, of hung ropes, offering a porous and playful matrice into which visitors may take shelter. Okay. So there you go. Someone was on crack when they came up with that. Yeah. That's it, guys. That's what it is. Look at what I've shown you. A rope home. Levitation. Can you imagine if I uh, went in there and somebody was in there, like, doing whatever? That would have been, hello. Excuse me. So, guys, now I'm trudging through the snow. I'm going to get back onto this. Let's tie the bunch of ropes to the lifeguard stand. <laughs> well, it is actually tied to the lifeguard stand so that it stays up, but there's the chandelier in the distance. So guys, let's wrap it up. I'm here in the beaches just in Toronto. This used to be uh, where a lot of Torontonians came to visit back in the day when you'd have horse-drawn wagons and the start of uh, the automobile. Oh no, I'm not gonna go for a jog. You're funny, who's that? Who said that? Minnie. Oh, you're welcome, Gail. Good to see you on here. I should snap that rope thing? I should, shouldn't I? Oh, Dana. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you Dana, literally snap it, Minnie. Okay, well, people can follow me on, yes, I. People can follow me on uh, Snapchat at Karen Mancini 6 
Yes, Caravan CD6. I'm going to walk back <laughs> and then I'll, I'll snap it for you guys. Snap a couple of pics. So, all right. So I'm trudging through the snow again. Oh. One sec. I'm trying to... Here we go. Low battery, guys, so I need to...